wineries around that are harvesting already, sparkling if you like, uh, bubbly sparkling wine, champagne. Um, they don't need as much sugar uh, in their juice to create sparkling wine. And so um, across the street we have sparkling cellars and they have started their harvest uh, last week sometime. Um, we're hopefully maybe, maybe this weekend, maybe mid next week. Uh, usually we start with either Chardonnay or Pinot Noir. And uh, they're a thinner skin.
able to uh, pay his uncle back because he would actually put this original tank, it was 1904, on the back of his truck and he was known, instead of the milkman in his day, he was known as the wine man in his day. So he was already going from door to door selling his wine. People would actually just put the jugs of wine out on their porch and he would go by and fill them up. And then he would even take it to his buddies that he met over at the rock quarry and sell them wine for 10 cents a cup and, you know, they drink it all day and <laughs> not get too much work done, probably. <laughs> but, um, and these are some of the old, this is like an old crush and then uh, the pressure and the press and these are Earl Brown tools um, that he had used. And so, um, there they are. But anyway, so that's, that's interesting. So actually, we're going to actually go um, out that way. We're going to go talk. And if you're really, really good at viticulture, and you can look at these leaves, and then you think, oh, that's either a Merlot or a Zin, Zinfandel or a Cabernet, um, or you just, your boss tells you when you get hired, this is a Merlot. <laughs> so, I mean, you'd have to be really good at your, you know, knowledge of uh, vines to know which one this is. But um, this is like, the, I'll start the process of what each part. This is a trunk, and we call these, when they split off like this, is the cordons. And of course, these are the clusters, and where the clusters start at the spurs. And these are the canes. And a lot of times out in the field, you'll have another wire out there. And the canes, I mean, they actually use as like a solar panel. It kind of protects the grapes from burning, especially the ones that are in the valley and Alexander Valley where the sun's really hot. hot. And most of those varietals would be like the Merlots, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, Zinfandel, where they could take the heat. Uh, Pinot Noir and Chardonnay is mostly grown out north towards the coastal area. And then we have another area, Appalachian, called uh, Carneros area, um, uh, Carneros uh, Appalachian out there. It's, it's a little bit cooler at night and um, cooler in the morning. So the skins on those grapes are a little bit thinner, so they would not be able to take the heat. And those are actually the ones that are going to be we're thinking any time now, next week um, will be for crush time. And what they're waiting for is to have the grapes at 25% sugar. Um, you can imagine your table grapes are usually around 17. So grapes for wine is a little bit higher in sugar. And they'll actually pick those grapes uh, between 2 and 3 in the morning because during the hot, hot afternoon, the sugar levels could be 2 to 3% higher, and they don't want that because sometimes it'll start fermentating on the truck because of the heat. So they don't want that either. They want that happening in our fermentation area. So, um, but basically also, uh, but during bud break, uh, usually comes at the late, like in April. And that's when I started here, May 1st. These were so teeny tiny, you couldn't even tell that they were clusters. But when that's, that's called bud break, when they start to form, and you want 150 days of no rain, low humidity, and cool nights. Um, and then that starts the process. Um, and so, like I said, these not not this particular one, but the ones that will be coming. Mm -hmm. The Chardonnays and the Pinots are going to be picked, and we pick everything at Sebastiani by hand, no machinery, because if there's any bad or ugly, those will just go get picked and thrown into the ground. Um, and so everything's done by hand. And then in the later uh, September, October is when the Zippodale Merlots, the bigger, the cabs will get uh, picked. And then in November, the leaves will pretty much fall off. And then December, January, uh, the, the, these vines will go dormant. And then they'll come and prune. And where they prune, they do that all by hand as well. And so that's where the spurs come in. And that's where the next year's growth will be. And then start the whole process all over again. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of questions about when you do plant a vine, how many years does it take before they can start using those grapes? It takes four years. We here at Sebastiani have 25% of our own uh, vineyards, and then the rest we have long-standing contracts with other uh, farmers. We let them do what they do best, is that they grow, and we do what we do best, is we make the wine. Our winemaker has been with us uh, for 35 years. His name is Mark Lyon. So we're very proud to have him. He um, he makes wine for the masses, and when you taste the wine, it's just pretty much everybody just enjoys all the varietals that we have. We make all kinds here. Um, another little bit of information: uh, the reason why, well, there's not a lot of property or land to buy in this area. Um, if uh, one acre would be like a hundred thousand dollars, and then to grow one acre of 
lines is, would be around another 40000 and then you got four years to wait before you can start picking. And so you're you're talking about six to seven to eight years before you can get, even get a return on your money on your money. So that's why, you know, when you have that movie like Sideways, does anybody see that movie? Yeah. And that year Merlot's um, went down and Pinot's went up. Well, we had a choice. We maybe just didn't buy that many grapes that year at Merlot's. And if it, we if that was our vineyard, we'd, we'd pretty much be stuck with that. And, Unfortunately, a lot of farmers did, and that was really bad because, you know, something like that came out, and it really did affect, but wow, crazy, I know.